All right, hello. This is John RB6 Elite Hodgson. I will be your host once again for this uh, Hammer Editor tutorial. It's going to take place in several parts. Um, description below. Read it. Read it. Read it. Um, so I'm kind of. This is a. This is actually my second attempt at doing this tutorial because uh, it's taking too long. So I have to kind of speed up my tutorials a little bit. Uh, just bear with me and uh, go back and, and reiterate some parts if you need to. I'm just going to assume from now on that you've done all of the older tutorials or you've done something similar to them so I don't have to wait and explain some of the same concepts over. That ought to speed a little bit things up and then you won't have to sit the rest of your life watching tutorials when you could be mapping. Alright, so I'm going to open up the tutorial that I did last time which is just this basic uh, block room and again like we said last time it doesn't do much there's nothing really to do in here you might have taken your own liberty to, to uh, discombobulate it and do some new things with your room uh, but we're gonna we're gonna actually turn this into a real map so we're gonna need more than one room to do that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select everything and one way you can do that is uh, take your selection tool drag it over your entire room and then hit enter and everything is selected should have the entities and all the walls and rooms and uh, ceiling and floor in there now this is the center of my map I'm planning on building a uh, King of the Hill map with this tutorial level so I probably want the center of my map just for uh, you know intuition's sake uh, or simplicity's sake, I guess, to uh, to be the uh, central capture point, and so my um, spawn should be somewhere else other than there. So I'm going to make this room my spawn. Uh, I'm going to move it down here a little bit. This should be good. And we're going to modify this a little bit. I want it to kind of look like a house. You can have yours look however you like. So let's see here. I'm going to shorten up these walls, move them down to 16 hammer units thick. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You build your house your way, and I won't bother you. Let's see if I can get both of these walls here and modify them at the same time. Let's lengthen those. All right, let's make the ceiling really small, like eight hammer units thick. Again, I'm uh, using the, um, the make smaller or larger grid to uh, modify these things. I'm going to grab all those walls, shorten that up quite a bit. Let's move it down to 192. Um, and then move my ceiling down with it. Make sure that it's all sealed up. Some of you may have had compile, or uh, well, you might have had compile problems, but you might not have known it. And I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So here we are. I've short, flattened out our room a little bit. I'm going to extend the ceiling and the floor a little bit. I'm going to make kind of a porch for our house. And now I'm going to duplicate the ceiling. Again, shift and click and drag to duplicate something. Make that a little bigger. And uh, Okay, so I've duplicated part of the ceiling and I've put it on top of the existing ceiling right now. So now comes the real uh, new, new part of the tutorial. I'm going to explain how you can clip blocks, clip brushes, so that you can you can carve off points of them so you can have any you can have uh, shapes that are not just a, uh, um, a block like what we have. Uh, I want this roof to kind of look like a normal roof that kind of uh, slopes downward, looks kind of like a triangle from the side. So this is how you do something like that. I'm going to grab this right here is the clipping tool. So select that, and with this, once you have a uh, solid selected, you can cut the solid depending on, or yeah, you can cut the solid uh, using these little using the same grid that we've we've been building our um or we've been building our block on. So click and drag on the solid and you get this line 
and you can the first part where you click is where the line starts and then wherever you drag it to is where it ends and then this can be modified once you put it down nothing has actually been cut yet but you're setting up the cut you can see in your 3d view that there's this line right here you might not be able to see it good in the tutorial video but there's a line here and that's going to cut uh, separate these two the two pieces that you selected or uh, the two pieces that um, your new block is going to be in uh, in the uh, 2D views, you're going to have a red section, which is the section that will be deleted, and a white section, the section that's going to stay behind after you've made the cut. You can cycle through these by clicking the, hammer, the clipping tool again so that it switches places. I, this part will get deleted and this part will stay behind. And clicking it again will give you two white parts, which means that both sections will stay behind. Now I'm going to do this right now, these two white sections. Hit enter, and we have made the cut, so to speak, of our roof. Now instead of one block, we've got two separate blocks with a cut in between them. I'm going to take that uh, taller, or this side part, click that and delete it. Hit delete, and now you can kind of see our roof is taking shape a little bit. I'm going to do that to the other side mirror image. Now I can uh, cut that, take this and delete it. Okay, so now we have the roof uh, that I want. It's not just, it's a, still a single block, except now it just looks different. So you can use that um, clipping tool to make cuts on any part, like I can cut, for example, in a different view, there's a cut. I'll delete this. I'll undo this in a second, but you can cut there. Um, get rid of that corner if you wanted. Whatever. Undo. Control Z for uh, those of you on Macs, I guess. Um, there's another thing. Let's try cutting a, a door in here. So let's say. I uh, can cut that front wall into two sections. Now here's a situation where you would definitely want the both halves to stay behind um, after you make the cut. So there's one cut, and I'm going to take that part and make another cut here. And now I've got this middle part, I've divided my front into three parts, and I'm going to take that and drag this up a little bit. And there's my door, so to speak. Very simple. There's another thing I want to go over. Uh, it's called um, carving. And uh, everybody in the hammer community, if they're worth their salt, they will tell you that carving is absolute crap. But I'm going to go over it just the same because it can sometimes be useful. Um, and it's an alternative to cutting if you, if you want to do that. So let's suppose I wanted to make a window here. Now I could just cut, cut, and cut, I would take, uh, I guess, four, uh, yeah, I would take three or four cuts in order to cut out a window. I could do this in one go by making a new block, which I'm going to do here. Enter, here's our new block. And then sliding it into place here. So now these two sections. I can grab this and I can say, car uh, I'm right clicking on it and I can click carve. And now what it, what that has done is any blocks that it's intersecting with, it's automatically carved a hole to fit this block. So I can remove this block and voila, there is my little window.